Okay, um, I'm recording with my um, phone camera because I'm not good with using uh, uh, paint in uh, writing. So this is, um, I wanted to show you how you come up with the calculations or the formula for the eye to track the position of the mouse without actually um, going outside the radius of the of the eyeball okay so um uh, this is actually the one i i did initially but i i think it's a bit rough i'm not sure if you can see it so i'll just go ahead and draw that again so suppose this is our cartesian graph remember y is uh, at the top top uh, left in our in visual studio so we're going to use this will be point zero zero and then y is coming down this way and x is going this way okay okay so um imagine if we have uh suppose this is the point where the uh the eyeball is the center of the eyeball okay this point is the center of the eyeball then suppose you have a point p arbitrary point p let's call it p okay now the the you will have a vector or a point so your struct point is something like this which is a vector which is uh let's call this uh let's say ec meaning i center and this is p uh you'll have another sorry i don't know if you can see that you'll have another um line or vector from here to here okay which is the sorry i'm just trying to make sure i get this um which is the um vector to the um the point vector that's the position of the mouse p is the position of the mouse uh e c is the position of the eyeball center okay now um first of all what you need is you need to get a vector that goes this way okay and that vector of course is p minus e c okay um for elementary if you've done uh, maybe not elementary if you've done mathematics you'll know that um to get this vector is just um this p vector minus this vector okay so um when you do that what you're going to end up with is this that brings us to this uh, particular graph up here okay so um that is this p you're seeing here that's the vector meaning the vector is starting from now it's no longer zero zero but it's from ec okay so that's the um center of the eyeball okay so we now have this vector p what we actually want is we want a vector that goes from here to a point here that's not all the way to p because um it's going to be outside the radius of the eye okay uh, radius of the uh, of the eyeball so we want it somewhere here and what what determines this i'm i'm, I'm now marking from here to here uh, to here as r okay small r okay uh what determines that small r that small r will be determined by the um uh the radius of the radius of the um of the eyeball okay i don't know if um people are following this but i'll just try my best to try and explain um it's going to be to uh determined by the radius of the eyeball okay now um how do we get this small r hmm? now to get that small r first we need to know the distance from here to here okay i'm going to call that big r that's this big r here that i've written here okay so that's just the magnitude if you look at big r is just the magnitude of this p vector okay so um to get this uh small r there are some uh there there's a way uh, a very easy way you can do that by first of all finding the um normalized vector or normalizing this p vector 
so usually when you normalize a vector or you just um you just uh reduce it's the same vector with the same direction but the unit the magnitude of the vector is one okay now look at this dotted line from here that goes up and meets this um this uh horizontal line here if you look at it from your pythagoras uh, theorem if you mark that down that gives you y and this gives you x now meaning this p is p um okay uh not really p x y but let's that means um the the, the 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 x and y they are not actually from zero p okay they are not from op they are actually from ecp so this x is the result of when you do the vector of uh when you do the calculation of uh op minus uh oe uh, oec okay that's when you get this x and y okay so uh, this y is not the actual y you're getting. It's actually the y you get when you do the subtraction of p minus uh, eyeball center. Okay. All right. So um, you have y here. You have x here, which means you you're going to have a theta here, an angle. This angle. Okay. Let's suppose we call it theta. Okay. Now from the uh, from this normalized vector you can see there's a dotted line that goes up there you can see that um uh our um sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse okay that's sine of that means sine of theta is equal to x uh opposite sorry y divided by one so y uh sine of theta is y okay then um the uh cos of theta cosine of theta is uh adjacent which is x here adjacent over um adjacent over one which is now this y is not the same as this y in fact let me call it uh y uh normalized that's for the normalized vector y normalized sine theta is y normalized and uh, cos theta is x normalized okay so for the normalized vector what you have is something like this um sine uh okay actually cos theta comma sine theta okay so this is your normalized p vector that's coming from eyeball center to exactly one unit uh of exactly one unit magnitude okay okay all right let's uh proceed so um that's when you get this since we've gotten this um we've gotten uh this uh okay for theta i think we haven't said what uh we haven't calculated theta we can actually calculate theta from this we can actually get theta from this and using uh that's using tan tan theta if you look at it tan theta sorry about the poor video tan theta is equal to now this uh this x and this y they are for this uh p x y okay so tan theta is uh opposite which is y over adjacent which is x okay so um theta is going to be the tan inverse or arctan of y over x okay okay um i'm beginning to run out of space on the paper i'll try to i'll try to rush it okay um so uh that's for the we've, we've, we've gotten theta okay so theta is a known value okay since we we know our y we know our x we can actually calculate tan inverse of y over x to get our theta okay so um theta is known uh we know theta we know this x we know this y we know uh we know this this is one we know sine theta we know cos theta okay 
it means we know this cos theta we know this sine theta they are all um, they are not just uh, unknowns we are they are now known based on this uh, uh, theta is called tan inverse of y over x okay so by knowing all those it means we can now know this from um, we can now uh, get uh, this and this okay because if you remember we said we want to get an r and that r is kind of for now let's just let's just keep it as r because it's unknown okay we don't know what r is we're trying to find what r is so r is unknown now assuming with this r with since we know theta we we know theta we know whatever is here is r sine theta and we know whatever is here that's from here to here is r cos theta okay um that means if we know our r we'll be able to uh, compute this vector which we are looking for okay so now next uh is for us to find what r is now to get r first of all we're going to calculate remember the magnitude of this vector op uh sorry ecp okay that's from the eyeball center to to that point the mouse uh, to the mouse pointer okay now that uh that vector if you remember we said has a magnitude of r and that means r is we actually we can actually calculate what this big r is is x squared plus y squared square root of x squared plus y squared okay from your pythagoras theorem that's what uh capital r is okay then um since we know what this is we can now use i always use this when i want to uh shrink something imagine we have um we have something uh, a maximum width think of our v uh, our um form that's when we start visual studio the form is like this okay the eyes are somewhere in the center remember the width are actually wider than the height so if we take the width as the maximum distance the uh po the um the mouse pointer can go we can take the maximum distance of the mouse pointer as the distance from the center of the screen to to the uh, to the boundary to the right hand right side boundary okay now for for that since uh, we can get that maximum we'll call it max r okay now we what we want is remember we have an eyeball that has another mini uh, radius we don't want we don't want um this this our r we don't want it to exceed that radius of the eye radius of eye eyeball radius of the eyeball okay we do not want this our r to exceed radius of our uh, uh, our eyeball so what we do is we take this big r and we somehow shrink it based on um the width of where is it <laughs> sorry based on this max r okay so if we take max r is to max r i know this is getting way too complicated and probably confusing but i'll just try to round up very 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 fast max r is to um is to capital r as max r is to capital r as um uh as m uh, eyeball radius eyeball radius is to small r that's the r we are looking for this small r okay now i'll just go ahead and open the next page okay um okay let's open the next page so um like i said max r is to uh capital r as uh small r uh, sorry as eyeball center 
eyeball center is to small r okay now um it means that remember we know max r we know capital r we also know our eyeball center it means we can actually get our r okay so we do that by saying r is equal to our capital r divided by maximum r multiplied by eyeball center okay uh sorry not <laughs> not eyeball center eyeball radius sorry about that eyeball radius so um uh, that's our eyeball radius okay so it means when we do this computation we we are actually able to get r and remember from behind where well, what we did uh previously once we know r we can actually this small r we can actually get this side by doing r sine theta and and remember we also know our theta from uh theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x the same thing we can also get this our x by doing small r cos theta and we can get theta again by doing tan inverse of y over x okay <laughs> i know this is crazy um it has gone too long and very complicated but i just wanted to show that in case somebody was wondering how um we got to that okay so i'm going to stop it here